As clouds move past, serendipity clutches ego with a steely grasp. A breeze flows across sunlight as the vibrancy of a child's eyes observes his world and the surrounding worlds in and between the cacophonies of conformity. The long grass that the child lays and waltzes in the gust and whispers the secrets of the clouds and the infinite shapes and stories they hold in their hearts. Super ego falls to the temptation of id. Id falls to the temperance of ego. And ego falls to this serendipitous creation. Imagination begins and a dreamer is born. Freedom can, in less than an instant, be crushed into dust. Freedom of the mind, spirit, and body are all substances to be shaped by society. However, freedom of the imagination can never be controlled until the day the cerebral machine that powers it stops forever. A man locked away in a dungeon from birth can dream of the alien world that lies outside the walls of confinement. A woman that has lived in poverty all of her life can gaze at the lavish and gluttonous god standing above her, telling her she will always be as she has been, and dream of joining their ranks where she will never feel the sting of hunger again. In this world that we live in, a bleak and meaningless existence greets us at birth, unless we ourselves give a meaning, unless we ourselves give the lavishness and humans that we all crave. Only in the eyes and innocence of a child, however, can worlds be imagined without craving. In lack of experience, children are able to fill this void with whatever they can conjure. Fantastical worlds filled to the brim with creatures and ideas beyond reason lie within realms of possibility for children to shape. As we age, we learn about the tangible and very dull reality we live in. We fill the void with knowledge and we forget how to disappear like we once did as children. I was the child in the grass. From a young age, it was obvious I wasn't normal. My imagination enveloped me suffocating the tug of the real world until I disappear. Inattentive attention deficit hyperactivity disorder is what they labeled me, and a severe case of it too. Now years later from that timeless moment of the whispering grass, I take medicine every morning to cease the constant encroachment of my imagination, and to help me function in a world dictated by people who lack any desire to culture dreamers. Some of us are able to break the mold, and once in every few generations someone who retains their ability to imagine it creates something extraordinary. I believe at the very core of my being that we should all strive to retain the creativity and magic of our minds as children. Never stop dreaming, and never stop trying to recapture Nirvana, because the next dreamer to change the world might just be you.